The first shipment of MPOX vaccines have arrived in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, uh, three weeks after the WHO described the virus as a global threat. About 100,000 doses of the vaccine have arrived in the capital Kinshasa from the European Union. That's about half the number promised by the bloc, with the other half as expected to arrive on Saturday. The UN will be running the vaccination campaign in the most affected provinces. Let's bring in Dr. Musavengana Chibwana. Uh, he campaigns for, he's a campaigns manager for Save the Children in East and Southern Africa and joins us from Pretoria. Dr. Shibwana, your reaction to news that the Congo has taken delivery of the first batch of vaccines? Uh, this is welcome news. Uh, thank you for having us here. We appreciate uh, the efforts that the, the world is having in responding to the crisis that we have seen in in uh, in the DRC, so we welcome this news with with much much gratitude that it has come in at the most opportune time, after we have had some 600 deaths and suspect uh, sus suspected 18,000 cases of mpox, and uh, for us it's much more welcome because we know that the children are the most affected, they are disproportionately affected by the mpox virus because two thirds of the infections and the deaths are children. 85% of the deaths that I've mentioned are children. So the virus is indeed welcome to make sure that no children will die, to make sure that schools remain open, to make sure that the parents continue with their livelihoods. They will not be quarantined to affect the livelihoods. I think it is a, mm. indeed a welcome development. Let's uh, talk about the scale of uh, this. Uh, it's 100,000 vaccines. It sounds like a lot, but is it going to be enough? It's a good start because they could. it's better than not having anything to start with. So, yeah, they, they, there is room for improvement for more because uh, we know that the virus keeps... Uh, uh, spreading, therefore, we need to make sure that the the, va the vaccine is very readily ac accessible, because several other countries also have reported cases, and uh, the hundred thousand vaccines may not be sufficient to respond to the need that may then uh, appear in Uganda, in Rwanda, in Kenya, and all the other countries where the mpox virus might spread. Otherwise, it is a good start, but there is need for more concerted effort to increase the supply of the vaccine for all the countries that are at risk. Mm. You say it's a good start. If you look at the plans and the overall size of the operation to combat this uh, disease, uh, are you concerned or are you happy with, a, with the overall response to this outbreak? Well, there is a concerted effort, uh, starting with the through the leadership of the World Health Organization, and also the support that international organizations like Save the Children are bringing to to the table, to make sure that the virus is contained, especially in the epicenter of uh, Southern Kivu in the Democratic Republic of Congo. But then, because of the nature in which the virus spreads it is important also to make sure that contact tracing is done significantly and to make sure that the virus does not spread further than it is already. So, yeah, that means a lot of more robust effort is needed to make sure that wherever it has gone, so at some point we might not be knowing the extent of its spread at the present moment, but we need to make sure that mm. all hands are on deck. Yeah. Now, the, the vaccine exists. Um, do you think it's uh, the WHO and others have waited too long for to start with this vaccination campaign and that uh, it could have preempted an outbreak? Yeah, we know that countries such as the Democratic Republic of Congo have been dealing with a number of health emergencies and crises, such as the Ebola crisis, such as... Uh, the measles crisis, and also hamstrung by conflict. And the health system within the Democratic Republic of Congo has been compromised because of these factors. So has the response been late? 
it could have been earlier indeed to avoid the six, 600 deaths that have occurred. It has, could have been earlier, but it is a, an opportune moment to remind ourselves of the importance to have a strong health system to respond to such emergencies that may occur. Because what we are noticing is a fragile health system in the Democratic Republic of Congo that is not able to contain a vi vi virus of this nature mm. because of the many uh, challenges which the country has contended with in the recent past. Yeah. Dr. Moza Bengala Chibwana from Save the Children in East and Southern Africa. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much.